Hello, front office. Get yeah, John. You. Hello. Matthew, you're on a very important matter. Yeah, I'm just dealing with someone else, but, all right? But, 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 so, yeah, hang on. Could you uh, sign it here, please? Right. Thanks very much. Right. What seems to be so important? Stay there with him, Jim, will you? Chris. Spencer can go. I'll finish with him. Hold out, did he? He knows we haven't got the evidence. Two witness statements, low-grade security video. It's not enough. Right. You can go, Mr. Spencer. Jim. Come on. Next time you're short of suspects, try fitting someone else up. Anyone else in the frame? No. It was him, all right. Woods. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, OK, Mike. I'll be down in a minute. We could put him under surveillance. Forget it. We can't afford the manpower. So what's the next step? We wait until he kills someone? I'm going to watch that video again. You coming? Rod, you do need in a minute. Yeah, what is it? There's a bloke downstairs. He's coming with a gun. Are you coming to check it out? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That has got to be Spencer. Yeah. What is it, Susie? Message from the DCI. He's had a phone call from the CPS concerning a little bit of your paperwork. Yeah, right, OK, thanks. Um, he said unless it's sorted today, the case might have to be postponed. Today? Mm. Right, OK, thanks. I'll leave you to it, then. Yeah, get it bagged up, sent to the lab. Why? We'll have a chat with them first, then take off your hands. the door open. Right then, it's uh, Mr... Uh... Uh, yes, Mr. A.S. Chandra. Like Sandra, only Chandra. C-H-A-N-D-R-A. And how did you come across a gun, Mr. Chandra? Oh, yes. I, I was walking on the waste ground. I, I was searching Where for the Where did you find the gun, Mr. Chandra? I was just about to tell you. Will you be able to take us there? Oh, yes, of course. Mrs. Bates. Yeah, I called. It's Mr. Newman in flat 63. I heard some fighting or something. I come out of flat and this kid bangs straight into me. He drops this. Where is it? Do you know this bloke well? Not really. He's normally as quiet as a mouse. We've never heard anything like this before. Mr. Newman, is it? Yes. Can you open the door, please, Mr. Newman? It's the police. Sure is in. Oh, yeah, I heard him inside. From Denny on a Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Stay Get an ambulance. No, please, please. I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. Get a wet towel, Steve. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Can you, uh, can you tell me what's been going on? Nothing. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. I I'm all right. Just, just leave me alone. Sorry, we can't do that till you tell us what happened. Okay, yeah, that'll be all. Thanks, Mrs. Bates. You can go back to your flat now. The sooner you tell us, the sooner we'll be out of here. We've got other things to do, you know. Somebody, uh, somebody break in, yeah? No, no, uh, not exactly. Well, what exactly? I met a young man. We came back for a coffee. And? Well, he attacked me. I took some of my belongings. Did he, um, did he give you a name? Can you describe him? Uh, all he said was Joe. He was wearing a jeans, uh, brown jacket, brown shirt. 
Where did you um, meet this Joe? Mr. Newman, where, where did you meet this man? A place by the arches on the Bagford Road. Bagford Road? Yes. Isn't that where the rent boys hang out? Yes. Do you normally go around picking up blocks off the street? Come. This is the exact spot I found the gun. was partly buried, and, and partly unburied. Was it wrapped in anything? A newspaper, a bag or something? It, it, it was in a small bag. Well, where is it then? In my home. Where do you live, Mr Chandler? Yeah. Yeah, well, come on. So why didn't you bring the bag in with the gun? I did not think it was important. Yeah, well, we decide what's important. It's an offence to withhold evidence. I, I'm sorry. Did you see anybody burying a gun? No, certainly not. Otherwise, I would have informed you. This is my home. Welcome. Nice view. Oh, yes, I am rather fortunate. Please, uh, be seated. Can you get the bag, please? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, would you care for a drink while you're waiting? Not for me, thanks. How about you, Rod? The bag, Mr. Chandra. Yeah. Oh, oh. I knew I would find it eventually. Oh, those are my belongings. Thank you. What about these newspapers? No, they were there already. So the gun was in a bag and it was half buried when you found it? Yes. In my opinion, it must have been buried in rather a hurry. Some of the barrel was protruding from the ground. I knew immediately it was a gun, due to my experience in the British Army. Fought in Korea. Although I did not fight actually, I was in the medical corps. Lot of damage to be repaired. There were some fine fellows. Here, look after it. And thanks for your help, Mr. Chandra. You are most welcome. Oh, please, uh, do feel free to pop in any time you are passing this way. Thanks. Where'd you get this, Ron? Some old Dosser found it. And a sawn off shotgun inside. Did Dosser see anything? No, he just stumbled onto it. I think he likes collecting junk. Come and have a look at this. Rod? Rod, shall we get the blinds? Yeah. Now, watch. There, you see? It could be. Yeah, maybe. I don't know who the bloke with the bag is, but I think the bloke with the gun is John Spencer. Spencer? Yeah, that could be his mark. He had him in earlier on this morning, but we couldn't get anything on him. Where's the gun now? Let's wait to go down the lab. Yeah. Anything else in the bag? Just some old newspapers. Ian Phillips, 116 Harcourt Road, Harcourt Estate. Spencer lives on the Harcourt. Yeah, you don't think that. Check it out. Nobody would be that stupid. The world is full of stupid people. Check it out. Okay. Right, so let me get this straight. If we get a result and Deacon gets the credit, if we draw a blank, then it's down to us. You got it in one. Huh. We come to the nicest places, don't we? Seen anyone you fancy? Back at me, old boy. You, Joe? Yeah? Right, Joe? What are you doing hanging around here? Waiting for a friend. Oh, yeah? What sort of friend? Any sort. I ain't fussy. Do you want to be my friend? You've got a lot of friends, have you? Yeah, I have. Must be my personality or something. you got a friend in Dunbury Court? Dunbury Court? No, I don't think I do have any friends there. Couldn't swear to it, though. 
You were at Dunbury Court earlier today? Maybe, maybe not. I got a real problem remembering names of places. Really? We received a complaint saying that you assaulted and robbed a Mr Newman. Would you like to come to the station with us, please? I told you. I'm waiting for a friend. Right. You're coming with us. I ain't going nowhere with you tossers! Come on! Right. Names. Joseph I. Jenkins. What does the I stand for? Innocent. Joseph Innocent Jenkins, that's me. Address? Address? 23 Camber Road. Empty your pockets, please. It's all yours? Yeah. I like gold. Makes me feel good. Yeah? Who is it? Police! Can you open the door, please? We can come back with a search warrant and break the door down if you'd prefer. Been in a fight? No, I got hit by a door. Had a good left hook, did it? You, Ian Phillips? Yeah. Yeah. Can we come in, please? Well. Do you own a blue sports bag? No. Well, we found one, and there was an envelope in it addressed to you. What colour did you say it was? Blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I used to have one, but I lost it a few weeks ago. Can you come to the station and identify it? Yeah, I'll pop round tomorrow. No, please. No, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for someone. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in an armed robbery. You do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. Ready when you are, son. <coughs> I, I, I have some information. Could you take a seat, please? Thank you. We've checked your file. You've been arrested three times in the past six months for theft and assault. There weren't any charges? No, no, there weren't any charges, because on each occasion the charges were dropped by the men you assaulted. Well, that's because I was innocent. Were you at 63 Dunbury Court earlier today? Dunbury Court? Yeah, I think I might have been, actually. What were you doing there? Visiting a friend. What was the name of this friend? I can't remember. Does Newman ring a bell? Yeah, that was him. Nice bloke. Did you rob and assault Mr Newman? I never robbed or assaulted nobody. Oh, yeah. How did Mr Newman come to be unconscious? I don't know. Maybe he fell over, hit his head on something. What about the gold watch and the 180 quid in cash? He gave them to me. Why would Mr Newman want to give them to you? I told you. He was my friend. You knocked Mr Newman unconscious and you took his property. Got any witnesses? Yeah. Yeah, a neighbour saw you running out of Mr Newman's flat. Had to meet my girlfriend. I was running for a bus. Your girlfriend know what you do? Yes. She knows all about it. It's a job. Just like yours. Got any more questions you want to ask me? What makes him do it? I don't know. This one's even got a girlfriend. It takes all sorts. Anyway, looks like he wants to beat him up before anything happens. Still. What's this guy Phillips like? Bit of a nervous character. Bit of a prat. Has he admitted to one in the bag? Yeah, he says he lost it a few weeks ago. OK, Sarge? Yeah, sure. Well, if he sticks with that story, we're going to need more than we've got. Has he asked for a solicitor? No, not yet. Um, first one on the left, then. Right. Do you want to No. I'm a bit tied up at the moment. You do it. Keep me informed. That call, there's a Mr Chandler in the front office for you. Mike? Yeah, he's uh, in there. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Mr Newman. OK, firstly, can you identify any of these items as being your property? Yeah, this is my watch. My rings, cufflinks, money. Can I take them with me now? I'm sorry, no. Uh, we're going to need them for evidence. You, you've arrested them? Those are my things. Why can't I take what belongs to them? It's not as simple as that. I don't understand. Take a seat, please, Mr Newman. 
Our friend Joe Jenkins denies assaulting you. He says that you gave him the items. I didn't. He says they were payment for services rendered. He attacked me and stole my watch and my money. Nothing, nothing happened. You're absolutely sure about that? I'm not lying. You were intending to pay him though, weren't you? Look, I'll be straight with you, Mr. Newman, right? It's going to be very tricky trying to prove anything without any witnesses. And you did invite him into your flat, didn't you? What are you saying? Well, ultimately, it's your word against his in court. Oh, forget it. I don't want to press charges. <sighs> well, that, that's up to you. It's your decision. But you can't forget it, Mr. Newman. This isn't the first time this has happened, and it's not going to be the last either. What's that to do with me? You're giving him the incentive he needs to go off and do this to someone else. That's what it's got to do with you. You want that on your conscience? I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I don't want my private life. Splashed all over the local paper. Should have thought about that before you went out picking up blokes off the street, shouldn't you? Look, I never reported the robbery. I never invited you into my flat. I never asked for your sympathy. From the word go, all I've had from you is snide remarks and insinuations. Have you got a problem with me? All right, well, look, I think we could all do with just a bit of calming down, yeah? Steve? No, I don't have a problem with you. But I do object to you letting this bloke get away with it. You're the police. You get the evidence. Mr. Newman, there is no evidence. There are no witnesses. It's your word against his. We need your help, Mr. Newman. Is there no other way? No. No, there isn't. We need a more detailed statement from you. Okay. I'll get the phone. A short time after you left, I saw two men searching the same spot I found the gun. Can you give us a description of them? Can I have a statement of the phone, please, Mike? They were both white in their mid-twenties. One was tall and skinny. He was wearing a brown jumper and black trousers. And the other one was shorter, much more stocky. And what exactly were they doing? They were searching that area. Then the short one got angry and he started to hit the other one in the face and then swear at him. Is the information of use to you? Very, and thanks for coming to tell us. Uh, was the gun a murder weapon? We don't know, but we think it might have been used in an armed robbery. <gasps> Local? Look, we really would like to stand here chatting with you, but we are busy. Thanks for all your help. Thanks. I will wait. Is this the bag you say you lost? Yeah. For the tape, I'm showing suspect exhibit AW1, a blue sports bag. When did you lose it? About three weeks ago. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Did you put these newspapers in the bottom of the bag? Yeah. There's a hole in the bag. I put them in there to cover it up. You see, these newspapers are dated last week. Can you explain that? Ah, uh, maybe, yes, I lost it last week, the bag. What were you doing last Tuesday evening? Watching TV. Can anybody corroborate that? Was there any witnesses, anybody with you? No, I always watch TV alone. Do you know John Spencer? No. He lives in the same estate as you, never bumped into him? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, so you do know him? Yeah, but we're not mates or nothing. Were you in the waste ground by Della Road with him earlier today? Were you in the waste ground by Della Road with John Spencer earlier today? No. Well, we got a witness who says otherwise. What were you doing looking for a bag? No, I lost the bag last week. What were you arguing with Spencer about? Nothing. I haven't seen Spencer for ages. We've got a glow circuit TV recording of the robbery. We've got a witness who saw someone like you at the exact spot the gun and the bag were found. It's not looking wonderfully good, is it, son? This door you say you bumped into, his name wasn't John Spencer, was it? How did you get involved? Spencer... He told me someone had let him down. He wanted me to help him with his job. He didn't give me any choice. I was just keeping lookout. But why did you bury the bag and the gun? It's 
told me to stash them at my place. In case his place was searched. When the police took him in this morning... You decided to get rid of the evidence? Yes. And why did you go back to the waste ground earlier today? We wanted to see if the gun was safe. We got to the waste ground, the gun had gone. He started to beat me up. It's not your seeing this sort of stuff, is it, Ian? Where's the money now, son? Spencer took it, he took the lot. Joseph Innocent Jenkins, I've got some bad news for you. Your friend, Mr Newman, he's decided to press charges. What? He's made a full statement. I want Slester. So what's the SP on Spencer then? Anything violent, so watch yourself. Right, rod and me first thing. Right, off we go. you for armed robbery. You don't have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. You ain't got nothing on me. I'll be out in a couple of hours. Not this time. Go on, put some clothes on before I do you for indecent exposure. Do you want those to sit in? No, that's all right. Me and Jim will take it from here. Are you sure? Yeah. Thanks a lot, lads. How are you one? Do you ever get the feeling you've been used? Tell me about it. Yeah, Mike, they're still here. Alan? You're Mr Chandra. You're still in the front office. Go tell him to talk to Deacon. I'll have a word with him. Mr Chandra? Thank you for sparing me the time. No problem. You'd be pleased to know we made arrests in connection with the armed robbery. These were the people I saw fighting? I can't say too much at this stage. Uh, no, of course. I understand. But it was my information that led you to... Ah, I see. Yes, there may well be a reward. I don't know how much, but I can find out for you. No, you're mistaken. I'm not looking for payment. I just want to know that my information has been of use. Thank you. Good old British public. <laughs> 